What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Bring my mic closer, because I've it's been a while since I recorded personally. But, um, what is this right here? Oh, that's the other chair. Anyways, we are against Mark, who is bringing a Mono Dragon team, very balanced Mono Dragon team. I'm, I'm really scared of the Dragapult, to be honest, because I don't think my team is mentally prepared to handle the Dragapult. Um, Internatus is a very scary Pokemon. Jinx is gonna have a field day, at least I hope. So, yeah, we gotta get rid of the Stal Stalwart Pokemon. Um, I'm assuming it's Stalwart, the Duraludon. So what I'm gonna do is start Incineroar, given that it has the, oh, uh, you know what? He's gonna start Dragapult. You're starting Dragapult, I know that. So what I'm gonna do is start Regirock, because that's the Pokemon we're building around, by the way. Um, and really quick, I just need to introduce my team. Reggie Rock with the Rocky Helmet, Heavy Duty Boots, Incineroar, Trebinet with the Leftovers, Unpheasant Life Orb, Hitmon League with the Normal Gen, and it's gonna be beautiful. And the Jinx with the Choice Scarf, Dry Skin, by the way. Um, a couple of things that you guys need to know about my team. Obviously, we are building around Reggie Rock for these next couple of Wi Fi battles. Um, most notable Pokemon in my team that are gonna make a difference. We're bringing a Swords Dance Incineroar. That's not a very common sight. I know Incineroar is not a fast Pokemon, but I got a feeling that he's gonna be awesome. Okay, I made a mistake because um, the Haxor actually gets close combat. So we obviously switch in out here. I'm, I'm not planning to stay in. And Pheasant is gonna be my Tellwinder. Okay, so really quick, just the move set. We got Curse, so it's something similar to the Registeel set, except Registeel didn't quite work out for us. We got Earthquake, Drain Punch, Stone Edge, Sword Dance, Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Darkest Lariat, Leech Seed, Skitter, Smack. So this Trevenant is uh, especially defensive. So we got Leech Seed, Skitter, Sk Skitter Smack, Will Lewis, and Horn Leech. We got Unpheasant, um, who's bringing the Tailwind, Quick Attack, U Turn, Brave Bird. And so on and so forth, my boys. You guys are going to get so familiar with this team. It's going to be awesome. So, obviously, predicting the close combat, I'm going to go out into my boy Trevenant. And um, by all means, we are not physically oriented in, de in defense. So, Dragon Dance. <laughs> I was not expecting for this thing to dance right up on my face like that. That's kind of disrespectful. Okay, so that's 100% scary. What I'm going to do is get go ahead and try to slow this thing down with the will o -Wisp. And I gotta choose the scary Internatus music. That's uh, that's really something there. Okay, we ain't got a fairy type, and this thing is about to sweep. Ouch, ouch. That's all I gotta say about that. So I'm gonna hit Monique here. We, I got a feeling we have to use the uh, uh, the normal gem right off the bat to slow this thing down. So we're gonna fake out and hopefully knock out with a close combat. So. We'll see what happens. I don't think I'm gonna be able to knock out with the close combat. I'm adamant nature, at least I, if I remember a breeding. Yeah, I think I'm an adamant nature. I don't remember. I think that's enough to knock out the Haxorus, at least I hope. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! It's a shame we have to use a normal gem like that. It's a crit! I don't think the crit mattered though. I don't think the crit, ma the crit mattered. Someone run some calcs for me. Run some calcs. Did that critical hit matter? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. So, my birthday is coming up, and you know what I'm gonna do? I decided, I, I have so many people on my Instagram, right? And uh, a lot of them are collectors of trading card games, like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Vanguard, Dragon Ball, you name it, they collect everything, including Magic. And uh, just that feeling of opening packs again, and the fresh new card smell, I am highly thinking about, um, do I need you? I kind of do. I kind of do. I kind of do, but I kind of don't because I got the uh, close combat on my Incineroar also. So I think we're going to call it a game for uh, a day for my uh, Hitmon League here. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it because I'll be able to get the, the uh, W with the, with, against the Chomp. So close combat, but I'm going to open some Pokemon cards for my birthday on this channel and i'm it's another crit come on lee just says you know what we're gonna hit you with the back-to-back -back crit garchomp we we really don't care about your family we don't care about we don't care about your dad we don't care about your mom it, and we're gonna take an earthquake and just say goodbye hit Lee. but i i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do pack openings every time there's a new set at least is my my goal that's what i'm trying to do and hopefully 
we can actually get some some good pulls. I really want to try to get that Chonkachu. That Rainbow Rare Chonkachu is calling my name. So, more on that later. Um, Ice Beam is tempting, for sure. He, I'm an Ice type. He knows I'm carrying the Ice Beam. So, Garchomp, goodbye, my friend. You had a really good run with my Hitmonlee getting knocked out and getting critted and everything like that. But you're going you're going bye-bye, my friend. Um, what is... I think I naturally outspeed the Garchomp, though. I think Garchomp has 102 base speed, and I'm going to check on that right now. Garchomp. Garchomp has a base speed of... Yeah, 102. And I think I have a base speed of 100, so I don't think I naturally outspeed. Um, what's your name again? What is your name, girl? Jinx. Okay, Jinx. Um, let's see here 95 so I don't naturally outspeed it. I I was wrong and right at the uh, initially so Okay, I obviously do not want to take an attack from this thing Especially a Draco meteor. Are there a Pokemon that I'm afraid of? Obviously, there's a bunch of Pokemon I'm afraid of but I think what I'm gonna do is bring in the Unpheasant I think that's a good play. I'm gonna switch out Jinx because she's the most valuable player in my team right now the uh, most valuable Pokemon in my team is the right word. And I'm going to take a Flash Cannon. I thought I was going to take a Flash Cannon. Boom. Wow, that did a lot. Okay. What do I want to hit? I want to hit a Tailwind, I think. I think Tailwind is going to be the play for now. It's going to be the play. I'm getting a call from my girlfriend. Somebody help me. Okay. I should have speed. I do. Beautiful. I'm going to let Unfezzing go down. And I think it's what we need to, uh, we need to win. So, and then, do I want to set up the Swords Dance with Incineboy? Do I really want to do that? I'm about to hit him with the Swords Dance. I don't care. I really don't care. I got a feeling I'm going to regret this a little bit. I got a feeling, but we'll see. We'll see. Woo, that did a lot of damage to my Unpheasant. Not that Unpheasant is a bulky Pokemon, but still. Okay. I think we go Swords Dance. We're going to waste a turn to Swords Dance. You bring in whatever you want. Okay, you're staying in. Uh, I got a feeling this thing is packing Earth Power or something. I messed up, didn't I? Dragon Pulse. Okay, maybe I take it. Maybe, 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 maybe. Come on, Incineroar. Incineroar Boy takes it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to hit the close combat. We got to hit the close combat. Keep going down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, I hope Eternatus comes out soon. I really do, because Eternatus is one of the biggest threats in this team. It gets Meteor Beam, so that's an attack that gains plus one in special attack. But it, um, it, it takes one turn to charge. But if you get the Power Herb on it, then it doesn't even have to charge. It just hits you like that with a really strong attack, and then it gets a plus one, and it's just not, it's not fun. Oh, did my Tailwind pure it out? No, it didn't. I don't. I think this is the last turn of Tailwind, right? Yes! Okay, so I should knock this thing out. Darkest Larry and my boys, you already know. You already know it is going to be a one-hit KO unless this thing ha um, is uh, sashed. Don't be sashed. Okay. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. We do it. We're playing Pokemon, my boys, and this is going to be a quick battle, which I'm 100% okay with. Wow, Mono Dragon at mo at um this is mo no this isn't moto soak this is uh what is this stage stadium moto soak uh what is that stadium search searchester something like that I i'm wrong i think i'm wrong this thing can okay meteor beam that's what i'm talking about this is the move i'm talking about power herb here it comes you all right i got it that special attack raises and power herb boom i am a i knew it i knew it meteor beam is gonna knock us out Ouch. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, I'm a, I'm a fan of the combination. Don't get me wrong. Okay, think. Think, 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 think. What do we... Okay, we gotta get the Reggie Rock out. I'm afraid of the Dynamax Cannon. I really am. And this thing already outspeeds me. I think we're gonna go for the Earthquake and sweep with Jinx. That's what we gotta try to do. Live and attack, Reggie Rock. Come on. I know you're weak to everything, but come on. Come on, my boy. Dynamax. Okay, that's what I thought. I don't think I'm taking this. I really do not think I'm taking this. We are taking it, my boy. Okay. Earthquake. Chill out. It's not in the bag yet. 
I'm down for that. I'm 100% down for that damage. And I'm going to go down here, and that's 100% fine with me. But I got a Choice Scarf Jinx waiting for both your Dragon types. Dynamax Cannon again. That's such a sick animation. Okay. It comes down to Jinx. It ultimately comes down to Jinx. Okay. We're obviously going to hit this thing with the nice beam. You already know. Okay, Jinx. I'm counting on you, girl. Can you get three knockouts in this Wi-Fi battle? Okay, we're gonna try for sure. Ice Beam, this is all or nothing right here. If we don't, if Jinx, if you want to be my beloved Pokemon, if you want to stay in my team, you gotta knock this boy out. Oh, thank you so much. It's a crit! <laughs> what is going on here? What is going on? Oh my goodness. That's three crits in one game by me. Okay, here comes the Dragon Knight. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, okay? We got Ice Beam. If this thing wants a Dragon Dance, then we're probably in trouble. Can we get a freeze? Imagine if we get a freeze. Oh, you're Dynamaxing. Oh, no. I am scared now. Please don't have Fire Punch. Please don't have Fire Punch, Dragon Knight, please. Please, please, please. I have not seen it. I have not seen a Dynamaxed uh, Dragonite in this generation yet. For real, this is the first time I see a Dragon uh, a Dragonite that's maxed. Freeze it, please. Weakness policy. That's the game, ladies and gentlemen. That is the game. That's what he needed to do ultimately. Airstream is gonna knock us out. No question about it. I should have Dynamaxed myself. I think. I don't think it would have knocked out. I don't think so. But that's gonna be it for this Wi-Fi battle. Very, very quick battle, 12 minutes. Oh, it, I love Pokemon, but that's gonna be it for this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure that you leave a like if you enjoyed against this uh, Mono Dragon, whose Lee card I'm taking, by the way. I hope his team is printed on the back. Comment down below on your vote using MVP. Um, most valuable Pokemon. Who was the most valuable Pokemon on this battle? For real though, I think it was Jinx, cause Come on, come on. Jinx knocked out that Internatus, almost knocked out that Dragonite. But subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.